Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, no problem. It's gonna be thrilled by I'm excited. I'm here today at uh, Perez Elementary School, reading to first graders, kindergartners as well. And um, for the first graders, I read to them in Spanish. They read, corre pero corre. I might have to ask them for help if that's something, oh, and help. something's yeah. hard. Yeah, they'll be great. The kindergartners, I read to them, green eggs and ham, and they really enjoyed it. It was a fun experience for me because growing up, I went to my little sister's school and spoke to her class, read to her class, and I remember my parents even coming to my elementary school and reading to our class. What's up? Raise your hands for green eggs and ham. I don't like green eggs and ham. Sam I am, I do not like green eggs and ham. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. He looks pretty mad about that. <laughs> the fact that he chose to get an education instead of going to NFL, that sends like a huge message to the kids. And they know UT because it's biggest college in Austin, so they're so pumped about UT, and then the fact that we get someone like him, like a positive role model who's also an athlete, and it's just so exciting for them, so for him to come in here and read a book is amazing. I know that our kids get excited about UT athletes anytime we have a chance to, to engage with them. Um, the fact that we had a football player coming, I'm sure he had them jumping off their seats today. This is Jackson Jeffcoat. He plays doing? football for guess what team? Longhorns for the University of Texas, you're right. Let me see hands for this one. Okay. Corre pero corre. Reading in Spanish actually went well. I was a little nervous at first just because, I mean, I'm not a native speaker and I'm speaking to kids that were native speakers. Pero grande, pero pequeño. Tres peros grandes saliendo. Un pero azul sobre un arbol rojo. When I told them that somebody very important from UT was going to come, they were all excited and they're like, oh, I can't wait and he's going to read his Spanish and because, you know, they're learning how to read. So they're like, if he has any problems, we can help him. They feel like, you know, maybe one of these days they can get, you know, when they get older, they can have maybe the same experiences. Adios. Did I speak Spanish well? Yeah. I did? Yeah. All right, good. They like to see somebody else speaking Spanish to them, especially if it's a bilingual school and it was encouraging to them that they can learn English, I can learn Spanish. I mean, we work really hard with our kids to get them excited about reading and just loving books because it's when they read independently that that really is the key to academic success and to success in life. And so we really push the reading, but you know, that's coming from inside the school. When they see someone from the community come and they realize, wow, we have, you know, firefighters, they like to read. Police officers, they like to read. Look at this, the mayor, he likes to read. Um, and then they have someone like a, a athletes, they like to read also, that's great. So it really does help them to recognize that it's not just their teachers saying this, that's the whole world valuing reading.